Today we're looking at leak code number 103, binary tree zigzag level order traversal. Um, this is uh, a continuation on the series of level order traversal questions that we have in this playlist. It's going to use the same exact pattern as we used for binary tree level order traversal 1 and 2, as well as n airy tree level order traversal. So anything level order we're going to use this template, which is very powerful. And here we're just going to make a slight modification of that template and we'll be able to solve this. Okay, so here we're given a root of a binary tree. We want to return the zigzag level order traversal of its node's values. So from left to right, then right to left for the next level and alternate, alternate in between. So here our zeroth level is 3, 9, and 20. We're going to alternate that. We're going to reverse that uh, from 20 to 9 here and then 15 and 7 remains the same. So we're zigzagging, reversing on every other, other level. Okay, and nodes are between 0 and 2,000, and the values are minus 100 to 100. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use a queue, and we're gonna use two while loops, and then we'll just make some slight modifications that I'll explain in the code, but I'll just go over the basic template. And again, if you're not familiar with this, and it's still confusing after this video, check out the other videos dealing with level order traversal. Just do a few of these, it'll get solidified, and then it'll be great. You'll be able to solve all of these really easily. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to initialize a queue. Okay, we want to initialize a queue, and we want to set the, the root, which is what we're going to get, into that queue. So the initial value is just going to be 3. And we can see here we have level 0, 1, and 2. When we initialize that uh, that three into the queue, we have the value for the zeroth level. Okay, so now we have this um, we have these two while loops here, and while there is something in the queue, so while the queue is not empty, what we want to do is check what is the length of this queue at that moment. Okay, and we want to save that into a variable. So the length here right now is one. Now, because we have this in our queue, this value in our queue for the zeroth level. We just want to make a copy of that and push it into our result. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take that three, push it into our result, and now we have our zeroth, zeroth level. Now we're going to go into this inner while loop, and we're, we're going to uh, check what is the len here. We're going to do it len times, and so it's one. So now what we'll do is we'll uh, pull off that three off of the queue and push in any of its children in back into the queue. So for three, on the left we have nine, and on the right we have 20. So we'll push in nine, and we'll push in 20. And then we break out of this while loop, because we decrement this one to zero, uh, and it will break out of that inner while loop, and now we're back in the outer while loop, okay? And so now we can see that this nine and 20 is all the values we need for our second level. And so now we do the same thing, we go ahead and uh, save the length of the queue at that moment in len, so it's going to be 2. We then make a copy of whatever's in the queue currently and push that into an array and push that into the result array. So that subarray of 9 and 20 will get pushed into the outer array, the parent array of result. And now we go into our while loop, our inner loop, and we just run it twice. Okay, so we you know, we shift off this nine. We check if there's any children. There's not. Uh, we just move it. Move, uh, we go ahead and decrement this len to one, and then we pull off this this uh, twenty and we push its children back into the queue. So we're gonna have fifteen and seven, and the len will now decrement to zero. It'll break out of that inner while loop, and uh, we rinse and repeat. Okay, so now we're back into our outer while loop, and we have the correct level numbers, fifteen and seven make a copy of that, put it into our result. Uh, we save the length, which is two, and then we go into our inner while loop. Uh, 15 or seven does not have any children, so we shift off 15, shift off seven. There's nothing that goes back into the queue. And now when we get back to our outer loop, uh, the queue is empty, so we break out of our outer loop, and then we have our semi-result. Now, all we want to do is make a slight modification is when we are pushing into the result, we can, creep, uh, we can keep a counter, set it to zero, and then just check if it's even, then uh, go ahead and put in whatever uh, the 
the order is at the time. And if the, the counter is odd, then just reverse it. Reverse when we, when we push into here. Just reverse that array. And so we just make that slight modification. That's all we need to do to get that zigzag property uh, for, this, for this question. OK, so let's jump into the code. So as always, first we want to check, uh, we want to uh, address our edge case if we don't get a root. So we'll say if root is null, then we just return an empty array. And now we want to go and initialize our queue. And we'll go ahead and place our root into that queue. And then we want to initialize our result, set it to an empty array. And then we want to initialize a count. OK, and we'll just set it to 0 as an initial value. So now we want to do while the queue is not empty. OK, what do we want to do? We want to store the len, the length of the queue, into a variable. OK, and now what do we want to do? We want to check if the count is even or odd. OK, so if count mod 2 equals 0, if it's even, then we don't do any. We just take whatever's uh, in our queue and push that into result. So we'll just do result.push queue.map node node.val. The reason we're doing that is because this question wants not the nodes, but the values in the nodes in our result. And else, we just uh, reverse it. Do result.push Q.map node node.val and then just do a dot reverse. Okay, and then just want to make sure we increment our count. So that'll take care of uh, the zigzagging that we needed to happen. And now we just want to address our inner loop. So we just want to do while len minus minus. It's just going to decrement on each iteration. When length equals 0, it'll coerce to falsy, and we'll break out of that inner loop. So that's all that's happening there. We're going to shift off our uh, node. So node is going to equal q.shift. And now we just want to do if node.left, then push that value into the queue. OK, and just same thing, if node.right, we push that value into the queue. OK? And then we just return our result. All right, and that's it. Let's go ahead and run this, and we're good. OK, let's talk about time and space complexity. So here's the thing. I know there's two while loops, and it may be tempting to think that this is you know, n squared. But when you really think about it, it's not n squared. It's, it's actually linear time. Because you have to ask yourself, how many times are we actually touching each of these nodes, right? We're only touching it once. It's just that we're doing it level by level. So we're breaking up these iterations level by level. But we're only just traversing it once. So our time complexity here, use yellow here, our time complexity is going to be O of n on time. And then space, how big does the result get relative to the size of the input? It's just the same size, so it's it's n. So if n is five, uh, the length of or the amount of nodes or the values in result is also going to be five. So this is also just going to be linear on space. Okay, so that's binary tree zigzag level order traversal. Uh, highly recommend checking out the other videos dealing with level order. Uh, once you just kind of go through a few of these, it just really gets solidified and. It builds your confidence. You can, you know, solve a lot of these types of questions really quickly when you have a pattern that you can that you can refer to. Okay, that's Leak Code 103. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see everyone on the next one.